Right. What have we been sent this evening? A Van Lab multimeter. Digital multimeter. This might save me having to use the Draper one in the workshop. It's quite big. We kickstand. We magnet on the back. Sweet. Actually, a nice set of leads. Thousand volt max. Not so bad. They might actually come on useful. I have a Draper one in the workshop at work, and it is a torture. Spare fuses just in case you blow something, and of course, a set of batteries. Test right here, see what she's like. I like a good multimeter, me. Now, this is only a wee cheap and cheerful. And you, it's not wee, but they're not expensive either. And the one I have here in my workshop here at home is only a wee cheap and cheerful thing, too. So, you don't have to spend big money on a multimeter. Backlit and all. So, what is it we've got? So, that's the VinLab multimeter. This is the VM600M. This is the upgraded version of their VM600A. So, a couple of extra features on it that will go through later. She's got all the normal features you'd expect in a multimeter. She's not an auto ranging one, so you have to select the values yourself. So, you've got your normal voltage, DC voltage, 600 milliamps, millivolts up to 1000. Your AC voltage, 750 volts up to six, down to six. You got your amperage range, 60 milliamps up to 20 amps, and AC, and then DC amps, same again, 20 amps up to 60 milliamps. You got your hertz. You got your microfarads up to 100. Diode tester, continuity testing. Then your resistance then from 600 up to 60 million. Ohms. Normal settings for a multimeter. Nice wee job it is. Quite accurate as well. But a few other features on this I wanted to just show you. Just makes it stand out from a standard multimeter. So the main one we're going to be using is going to be continuity. That one there. With a wee speaker on it. Ah, nice, nice and loud. We light as well, actually, to tell you. Nice one. You want a good loud one to know. Just times it can be in a noisy environment. You some 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 only make a wee dumb sort of noise. You can barely hear it. That's good and loud. Diode testing as well. That comes in handy at times. I know you're probably wondering why I'm even looking at this. Well, it kind of intrigued me. It's a nice tidy multimeter. It's not an expensive multimeter, reasonably accurate. You get loads of cheap multimeters online now. This has a couple of extra features I wanted to just show off. Does everything it's meant to do, voltage, ohms, amperage, continuity. Main one I always like is capacitor testing, microfarad. Multimeter sort of needs to have that there. Why did I decide to test this one? I'll show you why. She's nice and tidy, compact. She's got a magnet in the back of it for holding it. So if you're working on a metal cabinet or something, you can just stick that to the side of it. She's very handy that way. She actually has a transistor tester built into it as well. So if you're working on board, you want to test a transistor, you can test her right there. As we set in here. There's actually an infrared sensor. 
Thanks for the remote control. I want to know if they're working. It actually picks up the infrared from the remote control. I actually see it on the camera there as well. So it's really light, it'll actually tell you that's receiving the infrared. So you know your remote's working. Handy that way. There's a light built onto the top of it. Never seen that in the multimeter. That's wild handy. And as well, this other setting, this is actually a voltage detector. Detects live wires. Very useful. So as it comes to a first multimeter, we're just a cheap and cheerful one to have around. That is extremely useful to be quite honest. So this one wee meter from VinLab is actually taking the place of these items. Voltage detector. Now this is actually a component tester, it does all those things, but for tests and transistors, this is what I normally use. An actual meter and a torch. All rolled under one. That's quite a handy piece of kit to be quite honest. We'll test this out in the workshop over the next couple of days, see what she's like. But, as she stands, she's quite freaking good. Nice loud tone is what you want out of a multimeter. That's what I like the most about this thing. hate working on something that's noisy and you can't even tell if you're getting continuity. She's a nice tidy wee yoke. I've never seen that actual voltage detector and light bulb under them. Don't have anything for the actual infrared detector. I'm not on myself for that, so that'll come on handy. The transistor tester, useful, but unless you're into electronics, you're not going to use it a while lot. And of course, one of the big features for me is that it auto turns off. The dripper one I have at work stays on. Once you switch it on, you don't turn it off, it just runs the battery down. It drives me mad. I always forget to switch them off. So I always want them. They turn themselves off after so long. It's the handiest thing. So this one automatically switches itself off if you haven't been using it for a few minutes. Very handy feature. Saves the batteries big time.